Roxbury is playing host to a collection of paintings, sculptures, and collages by an internationally known artist. And today, LI News Tonight's Pam Rogers spoke with that artist about his background and how it contributes to his artwork. This may look like your average college library with books, desks, and students studying, but this particular one, the New York Institute of Technology's Whistler Library, is not just a library. It's also a not-for-profit art gallery. And we have ongoing art shows here. Every month we bring in another art show, and we're just lucky to have this show here. And we have another show coming in the end of this uh, week, and then we'll take a sabbatical for the summer, and then we start again in September with a major show. This month's exhibit is a retrospective of 46 paintings, collages, and sculptures by the artist Martin Schreiber. Schreiber says he considers himself a geometric illusionist painter and studied at the Brooklyn Museum Art School. He is a retired diamond cutter and says that's probably how he got his craftsmanship, because his paintings, says Schreiber, are very technical. He also says he got started as an artist for a few different reasons. I think my mother was very artistic and I always wanted to succeed at something that I think I did best and art and architecture and technical things always interested me. And Whistler Library donor Phyllis Kreitman says this is the perfect place to exhibit Schreiber's work. The Whistler Library was built and it became a natural art gallery and Martin Schreiber was good enough to put on a one-man show here, and everything he's done is creative, and it's in the building, and New York Tech has got an architectural department and an engineering department, and it was just a natural to come in and show his marvelous work. Martin Schreiber says he has a style all his own, and on each one of his paintings, he incorporates a spectrum of color, which he says is his own unique trademark. What I like about art is that uh, I'm in control. I do what I want to do. And there are so many choices to be made, which is really the fun of doing art. This exhibit will run until May 18th, and Schreiber will then begin to work on his next exhibit that's to be held at the Pleiades Gallery in Soho sometime in 1993. In Old Westbury, Pam Rogers, LI News Tonight.